There is so much happening this year that we can't possibly cover all of that in just one day. So we start this Friday with team coverage. Our crews are scattered across the fairgrounds this afternoon previewing some of the fun going on. How about we start with News on Six's Mallory Thomas. She joins us now live from the fair to show us the excitement surrounding the Junior Livestock Shows. Mallory? <laughs> There is so much to see over in the livestock area. The petting farm isn't just for the little kids. It's for the adults too. It's my favorite. There's so many animals over here. You can see the junior livestock shows, the birthing center. There's a lot going on throughout the week. Just a few feet from the midway, animals like these two pigs are getting a little rest and relaxation before their big performance. Some livestock just know that they're supposed to be show animals and they've been bred like that and they just, you can tell. For competitors like Dax Delosier, the goal is to sell his pigs to breeders and use that money to help pay for college. Dax is just one of 15,000 competitors out here this week. Our market shows will move in on Monday and they'll qualify for the night of champions. There's 150 that will qualify out of over thousands of animals and exhibitors that are uh, entered and it's definitely the state championship of livestock shows. Brandy Herndon is the chief agricultural business officer. She is inviting anyone attending the fair to make their way over to the livestock arenas to watch the junior livestock shows and learn more about these animals. So have our ag education area, the Aglahoma building that houses our birthing center and our petting zoo and the milking demonstrations. Dax says he wants people to have a better understanding understanding of why they spend countless hours raising and showing these animals. Some people just see the pigs, but in all reality, this is months of hard work, months of teamwork with other people. Families do this together, and it's just the passion that people have for this industry. If you want to bring your child over here to the petting farm, again, it's my favorite thing to do. Admission is free to get in, and they're going to be open all 11 days of the fair. And Tulsa Mallory Thomas, Oklahoma's own News on 6.